we will be modeling uh, this combined footing in safe the infos are given here the column size this one is 18 inch by 18 inch and this one is 20 inch by 20 inch the date of lives are given here and the info all the other infos the date is given here the depth is uh, like a uh, three feet so uh, we can go to the modeling so now uh, go to safe and you will see we do like this uh, go to file new model and blank uh, after that we have to draw points for the columns now go to draw draw points and uh, if we look at the autocad this column and this column has 16 inch difference so if we consider uh, this one center so this is eight, 8 feet to the left and this one is 8 feet to the so sorry this one is 8 feet to the right and, and this one is 8 feet to the left so go to safe and plan offset 8 feet select this point a point will arrive here a point offset say minus eight minus 8 feet and and point will arrive here so we, we got our column position and now we have to draw the perimeters of the mat mat foundation so uh the width of our column uh, foundation is 10 feet and this is 4 feet to the right and this side 3 feet to the left so plan offset 4 feet in x direction and uh, 5 feet in this direction so okay and minus 5 feet okay we got our two points now uh, this direction 3 feet so minus 3 feet click one here and, and 5 feet click one here so we got our uh, points for the modeling now we have to define our properties for that go to define materials our material was uh, 4000 psi concrete and 60000 psi steel so these two things are already predefined here this is the uh, this is the 4000 psi concrete and this is the 60000 psi steel so we have nothing to do here um, we have to go to uh, section define now go to define and slab properties then add new properties this one will be footing uh, that um, the depth for our footing is three feet so we, um, i will name this three feet and the thickness will be 36 inch this is the inch uh, and combined footing can also be modeled as matte foundation so we are going to use that here matte and make sure thick plate is on then okay after that uh, we also have to model the columns as well and then just uh, <coughs> add copy of this property and now you know this as column and select stiff from here everything is okay then okay so <coughs> uh, now we can draw the draw then so go to draw then select quick draw area around points and the our column was uh, this one was 18 inch by 18 inch and this was was 20 inch by 20 inch so just uh, type in 18 space inch press enter and it will automatically convert 18 inch enter so select this point and uh, it will be drawn similarly for the other column we have 20 inch enter and then 20 inch then select this point now we have to draw the mat for that go to this option <coughs> and uh, select uh, footing this uh, quick draw rectangular then click and drag from here so uh, it is uh, drawn already our entire footing is drawn now we have to assign the load data so uh, load for this column was 200 keep dead load and 150 keep live load so go to and save and select this option just uh, drag on this point and this point will be selected and go to assign load data and point loads so the dead load was 200 keep and the punching shear size uh, it, it will be the dimension of the column so for this column it is 18 inch by 18 inch and 200 keep dead load then okay again select the select the point go to assign load data point loads this time live loads and it will be 150 keep then okay again similar things you have to do for this point and for this column it was uh, 250 keep dead load and 100 keep live load so select this point go to assign load data point loads uh, from live it's still dead and this is 250 keep and the size will be this time 20 inch by 20 inch so okay yeah, again select this point go to assign load data point loads this time it will be live loads okay 
everything is fine uh, if you go to the 3d we can see the loads applied here uh, now we have to define the subgrade modulus now what is the subgrade modulus subgrade modulus is actually the ultimate pressure divided by the allowable settlement the ultimate pressure is the allowable pressure multiplied by the factor of safety the factor of safety which uh, which was used to calculate the allowable uh, soil pressure so normally for soil the factor of safety is three and the allowable settlement for uh, single footing and combined footing is normally one inch so one inch converted to feet as uh, this is in psf pound per square feet and the result is a uh, 162,000 pound per feet cube I'll just copy that and uh, go to save and select this surface and this and the, and the edges will be green after selecting go to assign uh, support data then soil properties soil one is already uh, defined here we, uh, we can just modify this one and just uh, paste the value here the subgrade modulus and compression only okay then okay after that you will see a lot of uh, support symbols here and uh, if uh, then we have to define the load combinations go to define load combinations add default design combos for now we, we will be ignoring the service initial and service long term okay and let's go into this um, what are these actually uh, select the one and modify this is the only dead load we, we don't need this actually so we can delete this one the next one is uh, dead load plus live load we can rename this one this rename will help us in future so okay the second one is uh, 1.4 dead load okay and the last one should be 1.2 dead load and 1.6 live load so okay then okay and now we can go to run analysis and design now you can actually select this one and save uh, if your deflection control diagram does not looks like uh, look like this then there is definitely some problems in, in, in your model <coughs> then you have to also remodel that now first of all we have to go to the display and show punching shear design if these values are within one under one or below one then your design uh, then is then your depth is adequate for punching shear or uh, but if this value is uh, above one then you, you have to increase the depth for that just un unlock the model and go to uh, define slab properties and modify the property that is that you saw there for now uh, as these values are okay we can now go with this so uh, now we have to draw the design strips uh, to find out the reinforcement now uh, the design strips uh, here the yellow lines that uh, these will be our design strips and the blue mark that you see it uh, is the tributary area for this for this strip the relative dimensions are given here area mm. area for the uh, for this strip will be like a c plus 2d d is the uh, effective depth of the footing and c is the column size um, for uh, for this column it, uh, for this strip it came to be 81 inch and for this strip it came to be 83 inch so and other dimensions are calculated from the uh, dimensions given here so to draw the strip we have to first uh, create a point here 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 and these two points so this is a uh, three feet and then 101 inch 91 inch and then, okay so go to uh, then first unlock the model to draw draw points uh, this this is three feet and this so do, two points are drawn then next one is hand then one zero one inch this one oh, this distance one zero one inch and select these points <laughs> and again uh, this distance is 91 inch say this distance or you can also use this distance as well let us use, let us use that actually so just type minus four feet and select this and this so we got our uh, strip points now go to draw draw design strips so now uh, as this is a 10 feet uh, with uh, uh, white footing the uh, if you draw a strip in the middle there will be five feet on each side so just put five everywhere 
and draw from here to here and right click exit after that we have to draw the transverse strip so for that uh, just select from a to b then uh, the strip uh, for the, for this strip within the left side is uh, 3 feet and in the right side it will be 45 inch so the left side it is 3 feet and then the right side it is 45 inch again 3 feet and uh, 45 inch so if we draw from uh, this to this and right click exit if we uh, now for the for now we cannot see the width for that go to this option then design strip object show width okay the width the width is visible now uh, for the for this strip uh, within the left is 35 inch and in the right is 4 feet so 35 inch and 4 feet draw from here um, if we draw from this point to uh, this point this will be the left side and this will be the right side and for the middle strip just select a column strip to middle strip and this is 56 inch in both side so 56 inch and draw from here to here so all the areas are covered now so now we can uh, hit run analysis and design if you see uh, don't see a control diagram like this uh, there is definitely some er error here now we go to display show slab designs so now there are lots of way uh, you can see your reinforcement for now we are uh, uh, seeing area per unit width uh, so for now uh, just see layer a then apply you will see then uh, now you can see the bottom and top bar also just uh, keep an eye here that is a uh, showing uh, in the bottom it is showing 0 0.11 inches square per feet but here it is showing uh, in the top only points uh, point 0.7 inches square per feet uh, similarly if you go to the layer b then the reinforcement is shown here the uh, it, it is showing 0 0.42 inches square per feet in the bottom um, if we show, uh, see the uh, number of bars then you can see uh, it requires 10 number of fibers in the bottom and only uh, one in the top similar for this side also uh, th this side requires 11 number of fibers so uh, that's it now you can uh, draw this reverse in AutoCAD